This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Welcome to Born Wild, the show that takes you into the heart of wild India. It takes you up close and personal to some of India's most endangered animals and the people who help them fight for their survival. In today's show, we go all the way across to the northeast, to the Kaziranga National Park in Assam. It was in Kaziranga that conservation and dedication to conservation came together and helped the great Indian rhino fight back from the brink of extinction. Legend has it that in the early 60s, with extensive poaching, loss of habitat, there weren't too many rhinos left in India. But it was work in Kaziranga that has now brought these numbers up to over 1,600 of them. And by making Kaziranga a safe home for the rhinos, Kaziranga also became a unique ecosystem and home to India's so many other endangered animals, like the elephant, the wild buffalo, the smooth Indian otter, hundreds of species of bird, the hillock gibbon, and so many more. So come with us into Kaziranga, a World Heritage Site. A fine mist clung to Kaziranga on my first morning there. Driving through the tall grasses and the varied vegetation, it was breathtaking to see this national park. While through the last century, most of the floodplain area has been converted to agricultural land, decimating local flora and fauna, Kaziranga is like a lone island in the midst of that progress, holding on with gentle intensity to the way the world must have once been. The rising sun soon turned everything to gold, and the first animals we glimpsed through the tall waving grass were a herd of wild elephants. A small group of females, babies and one lone male. A makna we realized from his lack of tusks. We are here in one of the bigger ranges of the Kaziranga National Park. This is one of the most biodiversity-rich national parks in India. Kaziranga, which was originally set up as a park in 1908, at that point had less than, as legend has it, 13 one-horned rhinos. And today, the park is known for the largest population of the great Indian rhino or the one-horned rhino in the world. About 1,700 of them exist in this park alone. Where I'm standing right now is typical of what this ecosystem consists of. What you can see behind me is the growing elephant grass. Uh, in front of me is a pond and a lake. You can also see wild elephants behind me, which is another endangered species, Schedule 1 animal. They come down from the surrounding mountain ranges into the park to feed on the grass and to drink the water that is here. This park is a prime example of what conservation can do. We waited for the herd to cross over to the water, but the females became nervous about their babies and moved away. The lone male, however, crossed the road, even stopping to pose, obviously figuring we were a puny threat. It has really been a miracle. In fact, by the early 1900s, the Indian rhino was already thought of as a vanishing species. In a turnaround time of less than 60 years, the park has managed to fight all odds, including severe insurgency in the Northeast and greed for the rhino horns to protect the species. Today, there are about 1,600 rhinos and they might just be one too many rhinos for this park to handle. It was not just hunting that had decimated the population, but also people's modification of the rhino habitat into cultivated agricultural land and land for grazing. 
At one time, the rhino was found all over the peninsula in the floodplain areas, mainly in the northeast, West Bengal and Uttar Pradesh. Today, after dedicated conservation, they found in Khaziranga and a small population is found in Nepal. In 1985, Kaziranga was declared a World Heritage Site. It's a biodiversity hotspot where every day is a new day to fight to maintain everything it has achieved. When you look at a rhino in the wild, you see the sheer size of the animal and the toughness of its hide. You wonder what could possibly bring this animal down. But poaching is still their single biggest threat. We were losing a lot of rhinos earlier by the poaching. But now we have gone for the intensive protection mechanism by way of establishing a 125 anti-poaching camp inside the park. And uh, there are uh, uh, forest guards in those camps with arms and uh, uh, the wireless sets. So whenever there is a poacher coming in, they can take care. 